Hey guys, what's happening? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and with all these minor revisions coming out lately, I figured I'd do one that just came out today on May 24th, which is the Nice Hash Public Beta. Now, before you turn your nose up to it, uh, I know the Nice Hash 2017 kind of put a sour taste in our mouth. Uh, I want you to at least uh, hear me out real quick. So Nice Hash just came out with their new public beta. It's basically we got two things here. We got the normal miner that we're used to, but we also have the Nice Hash OS. And there's a lot of OSs or mining OSs out there like uh, Hive OS, uh, Miner Stats, Simple Mining OS, um, and so on and so forth. There's so many out there. Uh, nice Hash just entered the fold in the OS. I don't believe they had a, another operating system, um, you know, mining operating system uh, since before, uh, you know, before today. Uh, at least I, I never heard of it but it's very easy to sign up for and play around with it now it is a test net so you're not going to be getting actual money or currency for this um, so I wouldn't recommend pointing every system or every GPU you have maybe one or two or just one but you simply uh, just go to nicehash.com um, and you should see a link at the top where it says learn more you click on learn more it takes you to this uh, dashboard or area that I'm at and you can click this link where it says step one to start testing the new platform please navigate to test.nicehash.com forward slash register now when you get there I'm not gonna do it because I already have my dashboard open but when you get there you're just gonna sign up like everybody else you're gonna get an email that you have to verify and then you're gonna be able to go into your dashboard when you do this is what your dashboard is gonna look like minus the one active rigs uh, you can add additional miners um, you can manage your wallets you can stop rigs start rigs um, everything we need all in kind of one place so there's going to be the exchange uh, that we're used to which isn't 100 percent yet uh, there is a trading section um, in there as well uh, hash power marketplace that we're used to for renting hash power there's only certain algos that are up and running right now as far as renting hash power um, and you'll be able to manage your wallets now it would be nice in the future if nice hash would pay us out in other currencies other than bitcoin but with, that is yet to be determined. So hopefully they'll consider it in some time in the future. Uh, not sure why these test uh, coins are in here. Maybe they're the only thing I could think of is that they're there is because inside the exchange under Trade View, we can exchange some of these test coins for other test coins. So there's test Ethereum to BTC, test Bitcoin Cash to BTC, uh, XRP to BTC, Litecoin, and Zcash to BTC. That's the only reason why I could think that those wallets are in there, uh, but whether or not the final revision or the final release of this product is actually going to have that is yet to be determined. But as far as mining, you want to add a rig, you just click on add new rig, and then you're going to get two choices, which is the miner, which I'm going to show you right now, which is what we're used to. The basic miner, uh, at least the basic look of the miner, uh, don't know what fully has been done internally to the program. This is on the RX 590 system. Unfortunately, when I did the benchmark to test and start running on the test net, not all algorithms were successful. Um, as I can show you here, X16R wasn't, uh, Kryptonite Heavy V8R, Dagger Hashimoto, or Beam, or uh, you know, Grin29, uh, Kryptonite V8, none of those were successful. So I believe there's still some testing. Again, this thing just came out today, but that's the whole purpose of the public beta is for us to test it out report bug so on and so forth and it's right there at the bottom of the page report bug um, but there's also the option for nice hash OS now I haven't fully tested it out yet but I'm going to go ahead and just assume it's just like every other mining OS that we have out there uh, with a different look or a different flair uh, but it's just as easy to go ahead and set up when you click on it you just download the ISO and there's gonna be a user guide that pops up and the user guide would actually walk you through how to set it up and uh, just like everything else, you're going to need to mount this ISO or image to a USB drive. There's plenty of programs out there that you can use, Etcher Tool, Rufus, so on and so forth. Once you get done, you get uh, you got to configure it. And what I mean by configure it is you're going to open up, once that image has been mounted, you're going to have to open up the uh, configuration file on that flash drive, and you're going to have to set up your rig. So BTC should be your test BTC wallet address not a real BTC wallet address but your test BTC wallet address which you can easily click 
uh, hit deposit, hit show uh, test BTC wallet address, copy and paste. Um, as far as the worker, whatever name you want, group is optional. Um, if you're going to use remote access to manage your rig instead of the online GUI, you can also set that up, SSH and so on and so forth. And if you're connected instead of on your network, a wireless card, you want to put in your SSD or and password or key. Uh, besides that, you can boot off of that operating system. I'm sure there's going to be a couple steps that this user guide will clarify in more detail than I will on what you need to do. But it's pretty much just like every other mining OS that we've seen before. So uh, we should be pretty good on that. But if you don't want to use that, you can just use the regular miner and manage your miner from your dashboard. So here we are on my system from my RX 590 mining away on Lyra uh, 2 revision 3 and I can stop that mining progress and I can also start that mining progress just like every other mining uh, operating or GUI uh, operating system or GUI so we started back up and there it goes so we can monitor and maintain our rigs through NiceHash now now it, this isn't significant right so other mining programs allow us to do the same capabilities I, I think NiceHash um, is just trying to get into uh, a space to because a lot, a lot of mining operating systems are coming out they're trying to get a little bit into that space whether or not there's going to be a limitation on the amount of rigs you can have I that is yet to be determined whether or not we're going to be paid out in other currencies has yet to be determined and also when the actual final product is going to be out has yet to be determined however um, it's a nice little GUI it's, it's pretty good uh, I like it now don't pay attention to the amount of uh, money that it says is making again this is a test net not factual not real it's it, excuse me it's fiction all right it's just a test net you use the currency that you actually mine on this test net to play around with features like the uh, trade view and the hash power marketplace to you know try to find bugs and issues that we report back to um, but you can set up your pools your monitor your orders all that good stuff just like the current the current nice hash uh, website that we are we are currently used to but nice hash has been one of the top um, or at least towards the top of the mining calculators lately and a lot of people has been using them now I don't use them 100% directly what I do is I set up my batch files to mine you know x16r or beam or z hash or whatever it may be uh, to you know get paid out in Bitcoin because that's the only thing nice hash currently pays out in unless they tell us otherwise but it has been profitable so it's something to consider and we need to report back we don't need to do anything I would recommend reporting back any issues you see or anything that you like to have done whether or not they're gonna do it is a completely different story but if we uh, let them know as a community that can help them out or steer them in the right direction so I just wanted to share this information with you show you that uh, nice hash as much as uh, 2017 stung is uh, tr doing better trying to make changes trying to make improvements um, so if you're interested, join uh, a few others and myself on the test net, play around with it. Again, don't point all your rigs or all your GPUs. Just play around with it and then let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And on your way out, if you got a chance, please hit that like button. And if you're interested in the Claymore Mining, um, the, the, the Claymore Miner revision or version 14.5 where I tested out the 1660 Ti, 1066, gig, uh, 1070s, uh, 1080 Ti, RTX 2080, all of that into the previous video that I just did, which should be linked at the end of this one. Uh, but thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one.